I mean, how disgusting is this? You've got the lovely traditional annual boat race that so many millions of people watch on the TV, people standing by the riverbank, and overriding everything this year was the disgusting fact there's a massive threat of E. coli. They've been told to put plasters on any open cuts because, as we all know, our rivers, our water is now full of sewage to a, such a disgusting degree that pretty much, that, I mean, even the, I think it might be the Observer today, you can put your postcode in and see where near you is safe to swim. It's foul. And of course, this is the problem specifically about privatisation. And Thames Water, who of course, um, you know, are responsible for the, the water in the Thames, have given out millions and millions and millions of pounds to their shareholders, invested nothing, and now want to put prices up by perhaps 40%. And the cheek of one of the bosses there the other day was saying, well, you know, we're going to need 20 billion investment because our customers really want high quality, clean drinking water. I thought, oh, you don't say. Yes, no one in their right minds wants dirty drinking water. But we've already paid for that. It's just that you haven't invested over the last however many years. You've shelled it out to all these people who've got millions and millions of pounds. It's an absolute disgrace and a huge argument for nationalisation and off what have failed at their job as well. That's another aspect of this story that apparently the whole scale of it isn't really out there. Yeah, and certainly it's causing a lot of public anger, isn't it? I mean, the water companies will say we do have plans in place, we are going to spend money. The basic problem is we've got an archaic system and it's a combined system where water and sewage goes down the same pipe. So then when you get heavy rain like you have this winter, they overflow and hence the, the sewage flow. So they no doubt would try and defend themselves and say, we do need the money, where's, where's it going to come from? There are Ugh. so many questions, but in the meantime, it is fairly disgusting. It's absolutely fair. 14 million hours of sewage dumped in the last five years. Can, can we move from sewage to chocolate? Yes, please. please. <laughs>